In this video, we will highlight the CoreMelt DriveX4 Track Boundary Outline plugin for Final Cut Pro. We can find the effect under C2 DriveX4 Effects. Let's go ahead and drag it onto the clip. Find a good starting point and draw a new shape by adding points to create an outline around the area to be highlighted. Hit Enter to finish drawing and close the shape. Once the shape is complete, it's perfectly fine to adjust the parameters for the color and line thickness at any time. But for now, let's just go ahead and track first. Moving ahead to where the tracking is finished, we notice that there is definitely some sliding going on in the track, but that is quite simple to fix with a few shape keyframes. Click the keyframe button to turn on shape keyframing. We can then shift the position of one of the points at the start. Notice that the points turn yellow, indicating that there is a keyframe on this frame. We always want to start simple to keep things manageable, so now we move to the end. Let's zoom out in the viewport so that we can see around the edges of the frame better. It looks like it would also be good to adjust this frame. And this one here is down off the edges, so we can tweak that a bit. Adjust this here, adjust that there. And that has dealt with the sliding nicely. So now we can choose a fill and change the color as we like. I'm just going to leave it gray. We can also adjust line thickness of the outline. If we want, we can have points highlighting the boundary points and change their size and color. But in this case, let's just switch them off again. And here we see the end result. Of course, we could also combine that with a callout, and then you get something like this. And that is Track X4 Track Boundary Outline. Thank you.